Hi, I'm Riddleney. I really enjoyed Nana's hideout submission, The Concealed Bunker, which is a post-apocalyptic brutal hideout with steampunk influences. I'm lending my voice so that others may enjoy it as much as I have. Einhar patiently waits for the next hunt, while he keeps a close eye on his recently captured beast. Nico mines for precious azurite to feed the engine down below. The gate lies open as the gatekeeper dreams of a better future. The azurite is purified, making it much more potent and even more dangerous to handle. The destructive powers of the cataclysm creeps below the surface, rupturing the walls and causing magma to flow into the bunker itself. Access to the engine room down below is only granted to the engineers. On the next level, a large conduit channels power into the entire floor. Hope fades as darkness looms over the survivors. Here, June prepares to interrogate a prisoner caught breaking into the bunker. Surrounded by treasures of old, Alva fervently searches for a timeline that the cataclysm did not take place. We keep our valuables safe in a vault, like we keep ourselves safe in a bunker. Miko's marvelous machinery can be used to augment any item for a price. Navali's prophecies provide hope to those who believe. Only those with the right access can enter the upper levels. Zana remains hopeful that she will find a new suitable home for all of the survivors here. Powered by impressive generators, this advanced map device is further amplified by pure azurite. This device is the only hope the survivors have of finding a new home before the cataclysm consumes everything. <laughs>